Hi everybody, it's Valerie from Stampin' with Valerie and I'm here today with my Aunt Sandy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make this adorable Christmas card today. This is the photo that Stampin' Up! shared with us this morning for inspiration. And I normally make a lot of cards like this, so I figured this is stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. So this is why we're gonna do this one. So this card uses the Snowfront stamp set. And with the Snowfront stamp set, you wanna use um, a paper piercing mat which gives your um, stamps a little bit of cushion because the photopolymer stamps don't have cushion so that's what we're going to use and I've actually got all our stamps ready we just have to get started with our little circles so we've each got three little circles I better put this photo in front of us so I don't forget which circle takes what what part and we'll start with probably the smallest circle. And I think what we'll do, Aunt Sandy, is we're going to put a half a sheet of paper underneath this. So okay. it, just because, I mean, it'll come off the mat with a wipe, but why have to clean it if we don't have to clean it? That's right. I say there's no point in that. And I, I just, totally agree. Uh, I'm probably who you learned that from. That's right. That's right. <laughs> don't... Don't make a mess. Don't make a mess if you don't have if to. If you don't have to, exactly. All right, so we'll start with the little house. So the little house, we're gonna use gray granite. And it looks like they actually did a stamping off technique. So you're gonna ink it up first, Aunt Sandy, and then you're gonna stamp it off and then stamp it on your little circle. So it's like half strength. How cute. Isn't that cute? It's gonna yes. be adorable. And then we have to add a couple of little trees to that one too. And that's the only thing we're gonna use the gray granite for. Kind of stinks, stinks, kind of stinks to the stamp. It kind of sticks. <laughs> kind of sticks bit. a little bit, yeah. And then right there next to you, that's the cleaner. You just wipe it on there. And that's the chamois that only takes water. It works so good. I love that little thing. All right, and next, it looks like they have, yeah. Misty Moonlight, and they did the same thing, except they took one tree, and you can put them wherever you want on your little circle, one tree full strength, and then they stamped one half off. Oh, so you got two different colors. Cute. Look how easy that How looks. easy and simple. I'm going to have to put mine one on each side. Because That's all right. That's so cute. Is and then it? you can just put it in the cleaner. And then again, they do a lot of stamping off on this, on these cards. So we're going to ink it up again with, actually, I think we need seaside spray for this one. So I'm going to have to clean this. We don't need misty moonlight. Will you clean this one off for me, Aunt Sandy? Yes, I am. And we'll grab the seaside spray. Since we're just doing one circle at a time, we're going to end up opening all these inks and then... <laughs> reusing them again. So for the ground, they use the seaside spray and they just use this little squiggly. So I'm only gonna use part of it. Obviously it won't fit the whole thing on the, and then I'm gonna stamp it again. Oh yeah, look, it's got two colors, two shades on there now. Perfect. Perfect. And then our first circle is done. I know that's so simple, but it's so exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting when you get it done and it's all cute. Yeah. Mine was a little lighter, but it still looks uh, cute. Yeah. Well, you can stay, you can put a darker one on there if you want to ink it up again and then stamp a little darker, just a little angle different than what you've already got it. Yeah. And then you got a little bit of light and a little bit of dark. That Adorable. Works. All right, for our middle circle, our middle size circle, we need to do just trees. So we've got the bigger tree, and we're going to use some of the misty moonlight again. And then I think we're going to do that center one. It looks like it's in that lighter color, so we'll use the lighter color for that one. So we just need three trees. To this color and when I pulled this stamp off 
I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna have that much detail on it because it looked like the branches were close together. Oh, knocking stuff over. That's my job. But it's, <laughs> sorry, you weren't doing your job, so I had to do it for you. <laughs> That's where I get my sense of humor from, right there. Ladies have left to me. And then we'll do it in this color in the middle. The seaside spray. Oh. Yeah, so now you can just do one of those in the middle. And then we finally get to open up Purple Posy. Now these colors are all Ooh, other than gray granite. Oh, that's pretty. Other than gray granite, these are all in colors. So these are the ones Seaside Spray and Purple Posy. We can clean that one. Are from last year and then Misty Moonlight is this year's. And then we're gonna use that little squiggle again wherever it went. It's right here. For our ground. And it looks like they just stamped it. Just one time maybe, I don't know, maybe two. We'll do two, Justin. You can't see the second one. <laughs> so one is enough, I think. Seaside spray is really light when you double stamp it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really light, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like where, where you pushed it on there, <laughs> made a nice design. Yeah. Oh yeah, cute. Our last circle we get to do, looks like the mountain range. So we've got the mountain range for the background and that's done in, yeah, just wipe it, just swipe it across there and it'll, yeah, it'll get it off. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna do it first in, look at those mountains. Those are so pretty. First in Purple, purple Mountain purple Majesty. Majesty. That's right, Purple Mountain Majesty. And then we'll clean it and do it in um, you know, that color. <laughs> Seaside spray. <laughs> I'm that just other, losing it. You know, that other color that we've got. That other color. And I didn't think, look, our sweaters. We got matching sweaters and we kind of match our cards today. Mm -hmm. We're adorable. People just go don't down even. Further. Yeah, just go down a little further and then we're going to add some trees in again. But these trees all go on one thing, so they're all one little stamp. They're adorable. Mountains. You can just let it sit there. We don't even have to clean it. <laughs> and then we'll get the. We'll do Misty Moonlight again, I think. Oh, actually. No, it looks like these are in Seaside Spray. So we'll do these in Seaside Spray and then we'll do the ground again with Misty Moonlight. They look the same color, don't they? Yes. That's what I thought. They kind of looked at the same color, but that doesn't look dark enough. So guess what? I'm going to stamp some in this color too. Then we've got a little bit of both. So you can do it however you want it. Sandy, if you want to do both or just one. I was about to put them the wrong way. Would not have been good. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have looked very good that way. It wouldn't have been the right way. And then if you want lighter ones, you can do lighter ones too. And then I'm going to do, because it shows the ground even though it's covered in the darker color. So I'm going to add some of this for the ground. Stamp it off and add some more in there. Uh, I did that with, for the ground with the um, darker misty moonlight. Yay. Look at how pretty those are. When we get those all put together, they're gonna to be adorable. So we are riding out Sally right now. She hasn't gotten too close yet, but Aunt Sandy came from the Gulfport, Bilu Gulfport Biloxi area, which is also where my son lives, and he came here. And then now the storm has moved closer yeah. this way, so. We were trying to run away from the storm, but instead we ran into it. Yes, <laughs> it exactly. Looks like. looks like they ran into it. 
right, you should have a piece of paper over here like this, Aunt Sandy. I do. And we're gonna cut that. This is the Misty Moonlight paper. We're gonna cut it at four inches wide. And you have to go up to this end to get to the five and a quarter. And the dark blade is your cutting blade. Okay, so. So you can move it over by you if you want to. No, because I don't really know how to use this. Okay. So what am I doing? So we're going to four inches. Oh, okay. And then flip that down and then hold it and then run that across. Yep. And then five and a quarter, you can't see at this end, so you have to lay it at that end at five and a quarter. And then I just always push it right up to the side. So you just gotta go over just another, yep. Okay. And then same thing, just run that one across it. Ta-da! Paper trimmer 101. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just learned something new. I learned how to use the paper trimmer, yeah. paper, paper cutter. Trimmer. Okay. So now we can start layering our card bases. We have a Whisper White card base. We have our piece of designer series paper that is in misty moonlight. And then a piece of Whisper White that I ran through. And let me find my folder. I just had my folder here. I did have it. It's the snowflake folder, but it's not called snowflakes. It's called something else and I'll find it later. I'll put it in the description of the video. <laughs> Cause I don't remember what it's called and I thought I had it sitting here. So we'll just fold it in half and then you can use the bone folder if you want. Just don't go over your this piece cause it'll squish out your embossed snowflakes. I don't want to do that. You do not want to do that. All right, and then we we'll use this, I gotta get it rolling, and just put adhesive around the edges. It's just like a little tape runner. It's like the correct. Yeah, like the stuff that you correct the, your the white the white out white stuff. Out yeah, stuff. yeah. It kind of rolls Thank like you. that. And then this is gonna fit. Am I not doing? What am I not doing? Um, I might not have stopped it. Right. Okay. There. Now it should be there. Okay. I was going across and nothing was there. Yeah, that's what it did. It seemed to, it's like if you don't stop at the exact right spot, it just doesn't do exactly what you need it to do sometimes. Okay. Right, here's what I'm trying to do is bring my this over here for this step. We're gonna use. Oh, I didn't get it on there very good. That's all right it will fold over. Once you peel that up, you can just kind of fold it over. That's what okay. I like about this, because that's what I did with the little edge of mine. I would just fold it back the other way. The other way? Yep. And then it will, it'll be all right. And so we're gonna take our card base and we're gonna use the Stamparatus. I don't have the plates on it. But if you set your card base in here, and this is the exact same size as the front of our card, all you have to do is slide this up to the edges and in the corner. This is not the same size as our card. Did I didn't, no, it's not. I was, okay, we cut it wrong. Never mind. we're not gonna use this. <laughs> we're just gonna put it on our card and have that border. We weren't supposed to have a border. I was supposed to cut it the same size and I didn't. So that's on me. All right, so, yep. And then just, so you have a little bit of an edge on each side. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> I can guide you through this, Aunt Sandy, don't worry. I, I got I'm this. I'm so glad. I got this. <laughs> All right, and then we'll flip this piece over and we'll add some dimensionals to the back of it. So we'll put one in each corner. I like dimensionals. I like dimensionals too. See, she's used dimensionals before. She knows what these are. Oops. That's all right. Share. Yeah. We're sharing. We're good at sharing. The paper came off of that. Awesome. Yeah. Peel it off then. It's going to have to come off sooner That's or right. later. It's got to come off sooner or later. Get all the backings peeled off, and then we'll put this on the front of the card. So then we have a little 
border of designer series paper. It would have been a bigger border if I would have cut it the right size, but we're just going with it anyway. Right, Nancy? And you. We're that's, just going, we're just going with the flow. Right, because that's how we do things. That's right. That's how we do. All right. So by the look of the cards, these, this one is flat, the big one. So I'm just going to do a couple of strips on the back of this. And then that goes toward the top of the card. Thank goodness I don't have to go on the edge because I'm not good yeah. at the... Yeah, what's your problem with the edge? <laughs> <laughs> and then it looks like this one is flat too, the little one, which is our next... Uh oh, it got stuck. There we go. Got it. And now the littlest one with the house goes flat right here next to it. And then we'll put dimensionals on this one. Okay. Which I try to do. This is my triangle dimensional for my circles. I always do a triangle of dimensionals. It's like connect the dots with your dimensionals. <laughs> I think it's, I should patent that, but I'm not sure if anybody else has ever done it. I think I'm the only one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's me. I'm the only one that's ever sure. done that. For sure. All right. And now, Snowfront is a gorgeous stamp set, but it does not have a sentiment in it. So we are going to use Happy Christmas out of the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set. Isn't this a good set? I think the power just blinked on and off I on do us. Too. It's a good thing we're recording this early. And so we need a happy Christmas. There it is. And I'm gonna steal this block for it. I'll set that and I just, I wanted to see how big this was before yeah. I cut the paper for it. So I think we're only gonna need a three quarter inch, not even three quarter inch. I think we're only gonna need a half inch strip. So we'll go half inch. I need to measure how big this is. It is just about an inch and a half. So we're gonna go two inches for each one. There's one for you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. One for me. And then we're gonna stamp them in Misty Moonlight. And then it looks like they used the one of the little banner punches on this. So I'm gonna go grab a banner punch. Oops, sorry, Sandy. You need to bump your chair when you're working. Well, I know. I'm good. I shouldn't have even gotten close to you. That's right. I did. Let's see if we can get it to fit in this. I hope it's long enough. So we'll use the banner, pick a punch, and I'm gonna flip it over so I can see my sentiment when I put it in. See? That's what happens when you don't hang on to it. Oh, it's just long enough to get it in there, but it's hard to hold on to it. Alright, let me try it one more time. Wrong way. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to cut longer pieces or we aren't gonna be able to do this. Half inch strip, but it has to be longer than two inches. Even two and a quarter will work. So I'm just gonna cut a long strip a half inch. Cause it doesn't do you any good if you can't hold it into the punch That's to do right. what you're trying to do. It won't work. I'm gonna cut it two and a quarter. So now we get to stamp again. More practice. Okay. We got this. We'll figure it out. Should it go in the middle or toward the end? I would do it toward the end because then once we put it in, we just want that banner on one end of it. Okay. So. Perfect. Dry before I shove it in here. 
And now I have a little piece to hold on to. See, before I didn't have any piece, now I got that little piece. <laughs> Perfect. It was almost like making so a basket. Which way did you put? So put your happy Christmas at this end, okay. but upside down. All right. And it'll fit a little bit tight. Just slide it all the way in until it won't slide anymore. It's really tight in there. Ta-da! All right. Perfect. And then we're going to put dimensionals on those. I move and it usually just takes here. a couple of them. This one doesn't want to come off. And then they do not have any bling on this card. I'm a little sad about no that. Bling, bling. No bling bling. No bling bling, but I think it's still cute, even without the bling bling. Ta-da! Look at that, you made your first Christmas card there for the year, Aunt Sandy. I did. Yay! And it didn't involve beads. It didn't have any beads. <laughs> Aunt Sandy makes bead pictures, the diamond paintings. So she just does a lot with bling bling. So, thank you for joining today for Update Tuesday. I appreciate you coming on and hanging out with me and Aunt Sandy. Because I'm glad we recorded it early since the power's already just flickered on and off. Yeah. Because who knows what's going to happen later. <laughs> Everyone out there, stay safe. Yes, stay safe. And I will hopefully be, no, I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> I will be back for Update Tuesday next week. Have a good evening. Bye.